And so if you have something like wood in oxygen, there's carbon in the wood from a tree, and the oxygen comes and hits it, carbon, but not hot enough, it just goes away again. The air is always coming, nothing's happening. If you can get it faster, by heating it up somehow, somewhere, somehow, get it started. A few of them come fast. They go over the top, so to speak. They come close enough to the carbon and snap in. And that gives a lot of jiggly motion, which might hit some other atoms, making those go faster, so they can climb up and bump against other carbon atoms. And they jiggle, and they make mothers jiggle, and you get a terrible catastrophe. That catastrophe is a fire. This is Richard Feynman, one of the most renowned physicists of his time. At just 24, he was part of the Manhattan Project. And in 1965, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics. Yet here he is, lounging back on a chair, marveling at the simple chemistry of a fire. Dr. Feynman was incredibly gifted, but his most impactful achievement is his proof to the world that there is beauty in everything if you're willing to look hard enough for it.